Welcome back to Hannity. And joining us now with more reaction to the media's coverage of the Vegas shooting is the TMZ founder and host, Harvey Levin. And also, you can catch Harvey right here on the Fox News Channel. His brand new hit series called Objectified. It airs this Sunday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. And this week, his guest, good friend of this program, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Harvey, good to see you. Thank you for joining us. You know, sure. one of the things that I always love is that you hit, you reach younger audiences, and a lot of your show is about fun and entertainment and Hollywood, but you do segments that really reach and touch your audience. What was the reaction from a younger audience, considering a lot of this crowd that were victims of this shooting were young people? What was the reaction yeah. this week? Despair. Um, it is absolute despair. Uh, you know, this... We've seen so many of these killings, but, you know, it reminds me in some ways, Sean, of the way the Vietnam War resonated in ways that other wars hadn't because you saw it on TV. You saw the gunfire on TV. And, you know, we have seen bits and pieces of these mass shootings before, but here you hear the, 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 the scene and you watch the people go down and you see the scramble. And it was as vivid as anything I can remember. Um, I, I, and I don't even want to say more tragic because they're all so tragic, but the volume here and the randomness here, you know, and the brutality um, where you were able to see it, you know, people in my office were just, it, it was just enormously depressing. And everything I'm getting back from all of the users on TMZ, you know, it, it, this, this one, they all hurt. This one really hurts. You know, you know what bothers me, and, and I always feel that young people are, are impressionable. And we've had all these incidences. You, you had Ferguson, and for a long time the narrative was hands up, don't shoot, and, and Michael Brown was shot in the back, none of which ended up being true. Or what happened with Freddie Gray or the Cambridge police acted stupidly and Black Lives Matter and all these groups. What do we want, dead cops? What do we want them now? I sometimes worry and wonder that the, this younger generation may not have the full and complete understanding of how dangerous police work is. I hope I'm wrong on that, but I wanted to ask I, you. Yeah, I mean, look, I think everybody knows police work is dangerous. And I think at the same time, everybody knows that sometimes police cross the line. It just does happen, Sean. In any profession, people cross the line. Tiny but percentage, I, I, everybody. A tiny yeah, percentage, I, I, absolutely. I, 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 and I understand that. But what I'm saying is, I think that if anything is happening now, I think people are just, at some point, they're just saying, stop this violence. You know, it's like you, one side can blame another side, another side can blame that side, but the fact is the violence keeps happening. And at a point, what's, you know, what good is it to say, oh, you did it, no, you did it, oh, no, you did it. It's like at a point, it's just got to stop. Because this is impacting the yeah. way we live now. I mean, this is, do you go to an outdoor concert? Do you go to a movie theater? Do you send your kid Scary. to a school? What about flying? I mean, at a point, if you look at it, this, everything is closing in on us. And to me, it's not about blame. It's this, yeah. this has got to stop. This has got to stop. You know, I, I, I totally agree. Um, I love the fact that there's kind of two sides of you. You know, there's the funny, outrageous crazy Harvey that I've known for years and you, you are, have a really serious side and your new show has been a big hit on the channel uh, and you did Simon Cowell and Judge Judy and this weekend you're doing a really good a big a friend of mine Prime Minister Netanyahu I want to run a quick clip and it runs Sunday night at 8. I went to an American high school in the 60s. Right. Can you imagine? You went to Cheltenham High School? Yeah. So, uh, be honest with me, who's the uh, most famous alum? You or Reggie Jackson? In Israel? Me. In America? <laughs> Reggie Jackson by, you know, a hundred yards. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You know, I, I, I love, I, well, first of all, I know him personally. I love that you get these, another side of people. You're asking questions that, they don't get asked in normal interviews. And, and look, the idea here is, to me, it's almost a psychological hour, that I want to know how these enormously successful people, accomplished people, became who they are today with lessons they learned along the way. And, you know, with, with the prime minister, I, you know, he 
and, and I'm sure you know this, Sean, but we really got into it. He, he has a disdain for politics and aggressively does yeah. not want his children to be political or to be uh, to run for office. He has he finds it suffocating and he finds it cruel. And, you know, he talks to me about this. And I knew about how much his brother's death impacted him. But to sit there and talk to him about it and really kind of get into it and watch him cry um, was really moving to me. It, that, that's the raid on Entebbe. Uh, all right, Objectify. I'll be, I promise I'll be watching. I won't miss this. It's hosted by Harvey Levin. Sunday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, right here on Fox.